Welcome to Practically Creative. Today we're going to learn how to make a tassel out of horsehair, the tail. I have a friend who lost their pony and this little pony had been the first pony of all her children. So what we're doing is she wanted me to make some tassels for her children um, out of Stuart's hair. So that's what this is. He was a black and white pony and oddly enough his tail was, you know, one of each. I've sorted it, I've washed it, so now, now we make it. So what I like to do is I like to hold on to this. I like to have as much of the hair as possible the same length. It kind of gets rid of all these little curly things that stick out. So I hold one end, I hold the top, and I pull out, I grab just the very ends, and I pull out from the bottom. So that way I end up with hair that's pretty much all the same length. So I am going to just continue pulling out the ends and then I'm going to try to put it so um, I have a center point because that's going to um, be where I, ooh, that's a wiry one, where I pull up for the tassel. So I'm going to sort my black. All right, so we're gonna start with that. And I have a string and I'm gonna tie right about at the middle. I'm just gonna do one, one string like that. Push all that aside. And now I have a bead and it has a fairly large hole in it because I'm going to pull the hair up through the bead. So that's always been my challenge, is finding beads with a proper size hole when it comes to making anything with horse hair. So then I'm going to feed both ends of the string through. And so that brings it, and I can kind of see if I'm in the middle, I have to slide a little bit. So now I'm going to try to hold this down, and you want to hold it fairly um, firm because you want to keep the hair all lying flat. So now I'm going to try to pull the bead whoop, see over the hair like that. And you want it snug enough so I use hot glue um, snug enough that it will be held in um, when you get the glue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide the bead up and you want to keep holding firm so I'm going to slide the bead up to the top without pushing it off. Make sure the hair is tight so now I'm going to take the glue and I'm going to go around the very bottom of the bead with just a very fine bit of glue all the way around and then I'm going to hold the string again and I'm going to slide the bead down about to there. So now you've got a top and you slid the bead down so hopefully now you have glue all inside inside the bead. And then I just go with my fingernail and I push the glue off the bead because you don't want your bead to be covered with glue. So now you have this pretty little tassel. And you can leave it. I'm leaving these long because they are a gift for someone else. And so that way if they want to have a shorter tassel, they can, if they want to cut straight across, you can that. But I find if you take the tip of your scissors and cut this way, it kind of gives a, keeps that shaggy look. And so what I'm also going to do is I have these rings, if you can see those, these rings. So I'm going to put that through and you want to leave your string on while you do this portion because it holds the hair together. I'll pinch this back so it's even. So then you're, that's when I take off 
the string after I get my my ring on there. So then you have a nice little horse tassel, a gift that you can hang somewhere. Now if I had this wood, I have some wooden beads and on the wooden beads sometimes I write um, the name of the horse on the wooden bead and then I just do a thin layer of uh, clear nail polish so that way you can't rub off the um, the marker where you wrote the name of the horse. So there you have it. Um, horse hair tassel. Nice memento if you've lost if you've lost um, a beloved horse. Gift for someone. So wow that was a quick one. Thanks for watching. Uh, Practically Creative. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. It's been a pleasure. Talk to you later. Bye.